Hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this session in today's session I'm going to be covering a number of alternatives that you have to tra in trading the ES a number of members uh, felt frustrated with the ES just the way price action moves at times so we'll just have a quick look at a number of alternatives as we get underway of course you need to understand the risk of trading do not trade with the rent money so please ensure if you're new to my channel particularly that you read the risk disclaimer and members as you know this is on every one of our videos uh, if you haven't already done so if you're just visiting my channel for the first time uh, please subscribe where you'll be able to be kept up to date with the many videos that I actually record now when it comes to my form of trading I only trade one market at a time because I'm a fairly short-term scalper that is if I'm trading the NQ I'm after 12 to 14 ticks if I'm trading the ES I'm after four to six ticks at a time so I find as a short-term trader that I can only focus on one market at a time so if you're a newer trader perhaps consider that as well we've got some members that do very very well in trading multiple tra uh, time frames and multiple markets I prefer one market at a time and that just really works well for me now as members of the day traders fast track program you would have received this PDF in your kit uh, when you first purchased your program and of course uh, this doesn't scroll all the way down so you can't see CL oil so it gives you lots of different alternatives that you have in trading the markets so what we're after of course or I'm after particularly as a day trader I'm after volume and volatility now at the moment I'm very focused on the ES because of the volume I tend to find it works well for me where I used to be uh, a full-time trader on the NQ uh, dabbled a little in the YM and oil but right now I'm ES because of the fund I'm trading but there are some gr other great markets that work really well and we're going to have a quick look at those so as a quick summary uh, if I just take you back and excuse me uh, for the experienced traders you'll have to excuse me as I go through this is really for the benefit of perhaps newer traders or traders that are looking at alternatives the ES of course moves in $50 points uh, four ticks to a point at $12.50 a tick the NQ is $20 a point $5 a tick the YM is $5 a point CL $10 a point TF the Russell uh, is $100 a point it moves in $10 tick increments now I, I want to put these up now unfortunately for trade station I which I trade with I can't get data for the Nikkei mini 225 now the Nikkei 225 mini it's the most liquid futures contract in Asia and it works during and runs works it's, it's open uh, during the Japanese session and it's got incredible volume it's it's got seven eight hundred thousand contracts trade a day and that's a tenth the size of a contract size of a Nikkei large contract so the, I think it's a CME has the large contract but the mini is one tenth of a size so it's approximately um, because it's in yen of course and it trades on if I remember on the uh, Osaka exchange it works out to be around four dollars sixty a point USD now I know that through uh, various brokers in the US other than TradeStation you can actually get the data and you can also run it through uh, uh, through NinjaTrader so I would really recommend for those members that are getting home from work in the US and Canada uh, and even those in Southeast Asia that are using NinjaTrader and perhaps some of the other programs or platforms where you can get the data have a good look at it because it's got uh, lots of volatility it's some beautiful smooth trends so I think it's um, really well worth looking at and one of our members recently pointed this out to me and uh, it's it's really I'd highly recommend that if you can get the data for it and if you you can trade it on your platform you have a really good look at that market now this is uh, I was put onto this particular uh, which I knew of uh, the uh, CME uh, Forex contracts 
let me get this right as I say traders my videos are raw real and unedited and there's no script so I have to excuse me here the September contract for the euro USD is m6 EU 16 now the margin is only four hundred and five dollars and it's at 100 and, sorry 125 a tick one dollar 25 per tick and I was just looking at that today and for those with a small uh, uh, amount of capital it's just something you may choose to have a look at there's not a huge amount of volume or contracts run through it but looking at it today there's a real alternative there and so there's some um, uh, if you're just trading under 10 contracts it just may be an alternative for you to have a look at now of course all of the setups we're about to have a look at some quick look at some charts it's all covered in the day traders fast track program if you haven't subscribed to my channel this is before we go to the um, charts please do and please visit my website to discover more about the day traders fast track program $197 gives you 12 of the world's best day trading strategies including indicators for many trading pl platforms I've now got but please go to my website and you'll be able to find out more information but let's go and have a look at the charts so let me just skip across here for a moment so what we're looking at here traders is the Dow YM now we can see uh, on the left hand side you can see a chart there I've got a six range which means that each candle there is $30 six ticks six points and on the right is an 89 tick so I really like the 89 tick uh, during the New York session and dropping down uh, 55 tick or even lower during the globex session and of course for those members all of this is covered in uh, also an additional recording and my preferred day trading chart settings so you can look at the time settings that I really like etc uh, now I don't actively well I don't uh, day trade at all uh, stocks in the US but the 133 tick looks good on Netflix Facebook 233 tick on the spy 550 tick looks great uh, all of this you can uh, is explained and run through on a nine minute video that I have in your course so you've got the PDF in your program so on the right is the 89 tick and we can just see here you get some beautiful trends there of course you've got a, a t20 you've got a t2 uh, a uh, 34b 34b uh, lovely t7 so that's on the 89 tick if we just have a quick look at the range now one reason I've brought the range up I like the range on some of the what I call spiky markets it just can smooth out the chart so you'll hear me quite often talk about uh, range charts on the YM and NQ it can smooth them out with that being said I would I was generally trading tick charts uh, on there but a lot of members have come back to me and said look they find it a bit choppy uh, what can we do about that well a consideration might be to go and have a look at at range so what we're looking at here is the ES now the ES this is a 550 tick and some traders find these areas um, are difficult to trade uh, once again I love the ES it's great for volume you can easily trade I'm a 10 lot trader I get virtually no slippage on a market order and one thing on that a lot of uh, traders have come back to me and said or at times last me um, why don't you use limit orders instead of uh, market orders well as a scalper I'm basically trading momentum and if I'm using a limit order by the time I get it in quite often my move is well and truly over and uh, as I'm only scalping typically four to six ticks uh, you know the moves over it's finished that's why I prefer uh, market orders so in the globex session which we have right now uh, I'm recording this at 338 Australian time uh, I you get a, and I use limit orders basically uh, every day but during the New York session I'm a market order person now if we now have a look at what have I got on this chart we look at the NQ now the NQ we've got before you on the right hand side we've got the 133 tick and let me just get this uh, right here so we're looking at the same time frame okay so there so this is the uh, 1.5 range or six tick NQ and this is the 133 share bar so if we look at that there we're getting 
more candles of course appear on the NQ and if that's too fast for you simply uh, maybe go up to a two range sorry a, a yeah a two range which is eight ticks and it would slow that down a little bit if it's moving too quickly for you but I just find them uh, uh, the markets a lot smoother in, in my opinion I just prefer using uh, range for the newer traders so when I say prefer let me get that clarify that because otherwise members jump on me straight away what do you mean by that I, I'm comfortable with tick over here on the right but if you find that it's too whippy consider the range that's what I'm really saying there so there are lots of alternatives to trading the ES so in my order of preference let's just quickly go back to the PowerPoint and we'll have a look at that where are we here okay I would start off with the NQ uh, the, the YM we've got some members that kick butt and really like the YM now mathematically I should point this out too at five dollars a tick compared to twelve dollars fifty per tick you're actually better off you get what we call more bang for the buck on the NQ and YM now another beautiful trendy market uh, is the black gold is CL you can do really well on there but as with all markets traders they have different personalities so what you want to do is to spend time on those markets and this leads me into one more thing I've got to bring this up now Earl Nightingale uh, back in I think it was 1958 he actually recorded the very first motivational record on personal development and it was called the strangers the stranger secret and of course Earl Nightingale for those oldies in the States he was a famous radio announcer and he interviewed hundreds of successful people on his radio show and he brought he brought this record out it was called the strange the stranger the strangers let me get this right sorry the strangest secret and the strangest secret was come down to one thing when he analyzed what all of his famous people um, why they succeeded and it come down to we become what we think about we become what we think about now he also come up with this great quote which is really applicable today trading traders never give up on a dream just because of the time it will take to accomplish it the time will pass anyway in one year's time you can either stand back and say well I've done it I've made it or you can regret it and I think what does um I think it was um uh, the great Jim Rowan used to say uh, discipline weighs ounces where regret weighs tons in other words traders what I've just covered for some of you maybe well a little bit overwhelming but take your time treat it as a three to six month experiment or, or I should research not experiments um, research uh, project because at times I still get almost daily some people come back and say there's so much to learn well traders you've got the greatest opportunity in the world today so give yourself time which is really important so we can see here we've got a fantastic market um, it's uh, you've got CL YM and NQ uh, with the Russell by the way I'm not a big fan of the Russell that's just me other traders love the Russell so spend some time on all of those markets and the Nikkei if you can get that data traders do some research I really think uh, and I'm uh, seriously I'm just looking at what do I do as a trade station user I've been with trade station for many many years uh, and it's a real bummer I can't get the data for it because I would probably be trading that market right now because the trends that it runs are beautiful it really is now the uh, the Forex market there the CME contract there on the futures contract uh, it just doesn't have the volume to make me feel really comfortable but it may be a consideration for the smaller traders so all of this of course is covered in the day traders fast track program for members uh, as a reminder you've got the uh, futures cheat sheet uh, in your course if you can't find it drop me an email I'll shoot you out another one of course uh, there's a nine minute video where I uh, cover this uh, preferred day trading times of course and uh, a whole lot more so I hope you get some uh, ideas and some strategies out of this video thank you traders